Hi, I'm Cindy Abbott Litro for Behind the Camera, and today we're with someone who I'm sure most of you will recognize. He has been in so many films and on television, and he's a Buffalo native, which is terrific. Jeff Fay, he is with us. He's in town, and he is scouting for a film. And uh, Jeff, it's it's interesting because I read you were born in Olean. Yes. Uh, lived there till you were ten, mm -hmm. and then moved to to Buffalo with your yeah. family, which was this is incredible. Thirteen kids. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, we were at the time uh, uh, twelve, and then the thirteenth was born. Uh, oh wow! Here in Buffalo. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, you, where in Buffalo? Where did you grow up? Well, we, we uh, moved around quite a bit. Uh, we lived in, uh, in Lackawanna, mm -hmm. uh, back the bridge as it was and were and still is, uh, off of Ridge Road and on Wasson. And we had lived out in Hamburg. And uh, then at, at one point we, we lived up in North Buffalo. And so that's why uh, uh, I went to Father Baker's for a couple of years and then went to, to Bennett High School in my uh, junior and senior year. You're, uh, when, when you go through all of the different things that you've done, it, it's very impressive. I mean, as I said, you've done film and, uh, and, and television, one, one Life to Live for, mm -hmm. for a couple of years, Silverado. Uh, you, you, you are somebody that's very recognizable. I think it's the eyes. Mm -hmm. They're very, they're even more piercing when you, you're on screen. But where did uh, the theater come from? Because I, I had read that you went to the Studio Arena mm -hmm. School yes. right here in Buffalo. Yeah. Well, I left home uh, right out of high school, at, uh, about 17 years old, and uh, hitchhiked to, well, most around the world. Uh, uh, lived in up through from here to Alaska and down through North America and ended up uh, in Europe in the Middle East living wow. in a kibbutz for a couple of years and and uh, cost, crossed through through Asia and back and forth and a number of odd jobs in Europe and then uh, and working on a, a sword fishing boat in the North Atlantic for a while and ended up after years on the road coming back through Buffalo uh, coming back to see family and uh, passing through again, but uh, ended up at the studio arena, walked into the studio arena to check it out, and, and then ended up in, in their theater group. Uh, and I believe at the time it was Jerry Miller uh, um, who was uh, teaching then. And I was in a play before I saw a play. And that's uh, pretty much Isn't how... Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's quite amazing. I mean, it has been a, a wonderful... I like to say I've lived five great lives of adventure, and, and it's still going. Uh, and after 200 films and, and uh, God knows how many plays and hours of television, it's great to be back in Buffalo. Um, and I'll answer the question before you ask. <laughs> um, I was going to say, what, exactly, why are you here? What are you scouting? Well, you can Tell see me after about years it. of doing interviews. I, I would say you ask and answer the question <laughs> yes, at the same time, which is yeah. good. That's all right. Yeah. Um, but now here, uh, scouting locations to hopefully uh, uh, make some films here that I'm producing, and also uh, meeting with some of the people in the local theaters uh, because I'm producing a couple plays also that will be taken to New York and to London's West End. You've had such a varied career. I mean, it, I guess it is just a, a gift, an innate gift that you haven't. Didn't you also dance? Uh, yes, you I, were I with studied, the Joffrey Ballet. Yes, yeah, I studied at the uh, the Joffrey Ballet and. Uh, and Agnes DeMille was one of my mentors who then uh, I went into Broadway, my first Broadway show that uh, I ever saw I was in later. Uh, Brigadoon, the revival of Brigadoon and then the revival of uh, Oklahoma and West Side Story and doing theater in New York uh, and studying with Mira Rostova, uh, a wonderful, great, uh, who's gone now, but great Russian uh, coach. What do you look for in a project? You know, it, it seems as if it's, you know, everything and anything mm, in a yeah. way. That, but, I mean, what do you look for? Well, I think, uh, uh, I think I've always, well, I know I've always looked for adventure in life. And I think that pretty much 
ended up uh, being what uh, guided me and uh, excited me about, uh, about the industry, about film and television and theater in all the varied genres within. So one can, I can answer that question in a number of ways. Sometimes it's the project, sometimes it's the people, sometimes it's the genre, sometimes it's the location. That's what I was going to say. It, yeah. it sounds like a lot of times because yeah. one of the, the great experiences you had was with Clint Eastwood in Africa. Yeah. And that seemed to have had quite an effect on you. Yes, well, it was, and it's always been fascinating to go back to certain parts of the world that I had been to uh, earlier on when I was a, uh, a traveling hippie uh, with, with very little money. And now I, I kind of look at it as I'm still a traveling hippie with a few extra dollars in my pocket. And, <laughs> and, but to go back to Africa with uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, with White Hunter Blackheart, we were down in Zimbabwe. And uh, that was fascinating. We're still friends to this day. But uh, I've met a lot of wonderful people through the years that I've worked with in all parts of the world. Is there one thing that stands out, one experience that you've had that has had more of an impact than another? Uh, that's a wonderful question because uh, it's a it's a very very big answer to a, a short question. That's all question. right. We can uh, take a, a big answer. Okay. Um, each one, honestly, I'm not dodging the question, but each one has had its 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 wonderful value and excitement and and a learning uh, process out of that. For example, because Jonathan Sanger, who you've interviewed, and yes, and, uh, Cabrini, yes, mm -hmm. uh, and Jonathan loves Buffalo, and we're producing a number of things together. And Jonathan, and I go back to when he had directed a couple episodes of a series I had years ago called The Marshall on ABC, and that's where we first met, and then got reconnected years later through a theater project, and now we're producing some films together. But because Jonathan had been working in Buffalo and he knew that I was from Buffalo, it was in conversations again. And because of where you are now with the, the film commission and, and thanks to uh, Tim Clark and his wonderful group and, and his team and uh, Rich Wall and, and all the people that work with them, uh, and to what the programs that you've all been part of in getting the, the tax incentive and the rebate in New York State, it's pulled a lot of people back, but it's also pulling a lot of interesting people that have been filming and working around the world. And so in a long way around the barn to answer your question, right now what's happening in my life, in my career here, and being able to come back to Buffalo after all these years and be part of uh, projects that will uh, be coming in, films that uh, we'll produce in place that we hopefully can do here. Uh, that is the most exciting time right now because there's a there's a multi-layered uh, uh, fulfillment to that. Uh, it's almost the prodigal son returns, uh, and uh, and I'm seeing the city. I've always been a Buffalo fan of everything Buffalo, but I'm seeing the city in a different light this time around. And There's a different vibe, yeah, yeah. and yeah. and actually uh, having the film industry sort of growing has it, it's there always was creativity in this city but i think that people are discovering it and mm -hmm. discovering mm -hmm. things that have always been like part of our dna absolutely and to that point it, one of the things that everyone that i talk to that comes through here and works uh, other friends and associates that i have in the industry uh, aside from the incredibly uh, talented crews and and uh all the accessibility they have with now with the the film houses being built here and the uh, the, the sound stages and uh, they talk about how great the people are yeah. Yeah. that, that they, is we hear that time and time again yeah. uh, you know i i know that travel is such an important part you know and in the adventure the sort of opening you up to new experiences one of the things that i read that's very important to you was going to Afghanistan. And I just wanted you to talk a little bit about mm. that because it certainly has been in the news, mm. but that how that place resonated with you. Well, it started back in the early 70s uh, as a hippie <laughs> when I was uh, traveling through um, coming out of Europe and into uh, through Turkey by land and then through Iran and Afghanistan, Pakistan, India and up into Nepal and then going back and then went back over the years quite a bit and uh, 
then in the early 2000s, uh, went back very strongly uh, to help out with the uh, refugee situation and uh, ended up as a, a special advisor to the Afghan Ministry of Culture, Youth and Information and uh, a liaison between some people in Afghanistan and the, the embassy, the U.S. Embassy there, and uh, helped build some orphanages and have been in and out of Afghanistan now for over 40 years, but a great deal of the last 20 years. And um, yeah, uh, worked with um, worked with Laura Bush and the the Bush administration, helping put in schools and uh, help put in the American University. Um, so I was the person on the ground there with some well, other and people. of course, uh, in a way, you know, it's full circle here in Buffalo. We're, we are going to be welcoming and, and yeah. uh, many Afghan refu refugees that will be coming here. But uh, what do you think created this sort of need to travel? Uh, I just, you know, it just seems as if the next adventure is always waiting <laughs> for, yes, for Jeff, yeah. Jeff Fain that you're open for. It. Um, I'm not quite sure I can answer that uh, question uh, fully, but I can say that uh, there's a, a wonderful, uh, having been raised in Buffalo, there's uh, and with the, the the wonderful seasonal changes and the harsh winters, uh, there I, I I'm not quite sure what it is, but a wanderlust was created there of wanting to see more, wanting to wanting to see the world, and it may have started with with television shows and films, uh, and it, I don't know is there something in our DNA that uh, uh, makes us want to see the world, but it was there and. Uh, and I don't want to say because I wanted to leave Buffalo and get out it was was part of wanting to see the world. But uh, I, I, Is Buffalo, I love you. <laughs> but you know, it, when we're young, sometimes we want to leave and have changes. And I think that was part of it. And then when I got out there and saw the fascinating things out there, uh, some good, some bad, but ever changing. And the adventure was always in, in front of me. Uh, and I knew I had a, a wonderful family and a great place to always come back to because I think the base for anyone's mm. life is, uh, is very important because uh, I, I do have a wonderful family, uh, seven brothers and five sisters. Wow. And uh, a few of them are still here in Buffalo and uh, others uh, around the country. But I think the base that you have with your family and your loved ones that gives you that strong base to have even more adventure so you have a, a place to come back to i think that was very important to me and and the people and friends i met along the way um, again that's why it's so exciting after all these years i mean i was at yesterday uh, we we drove down we were on the film scout and and tim uh, took us down through uh, the Lackawanna and, oh. and we went into the the Basilica and and we're um, taking some photographs for a possible location but that was the first time I was inside Father Baker's uh, uh, Basilica in 50 years Wow uh, so again to answer a couple of questions at the same time uh, there has always been great adventure but I'm about to start uh, and embark on the great adventure that is 50 years later coming back and actually working in Buffalo and bringing all those things that I've learned around the world in the industry uh, to Buffalo. Well, that's great. And we are so happy to welcome you back. And we will look forward to seeing uh, the next project and the next project and hopefully yeah. the next project. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you for watching on this Behind the Camera. Join us next time.